So hello everyone. So we'll uh, continue our lessons uh, for today. So we are at the last lesson uh, in unit 10. Okay, we took rules on warnings and the last lesson was about safety hazards and today's lesson will be about investigations. Investigation, this is in page 78, investigations. Okay, what do we mean uh, by investigations? For example, if you entered your home and you found out that your laptop is missing, okay, you need to investigate to look for who did uh, take your uh, laptop. To start asking questions and try to find evidence about what will, what did happen and who is responsible for this action. This is the meaning of investigate. Investigations in Arabic means tahqiqat. Okay, let's see uh, the first activity. So we have a picture about two planes. Okay, two planes or, or airplanes. Okay, we have one, the red one is moving forward. And there is another one, okay, going to the uh, west, okay. The first question it says, what is happening? So you can see ING, something happened at the, the moment of speaking. What would happen here? What is happening? As we can see, the two planes are about to get crushed to each other, okay? This airplane is moving in its way. It might get interrupted by the blue airplane, okay? This is interrupt. There is interruption in this boat that would result in an accident or a crush that will take a lot of lives. As we can see and understand about how airplanes uh, accident uh, could be they are uh, battle okay they took a lot of lives there is a zero chance of survival okay so there is oh there will be there will be interruption here or intercept intercept is moving in his way or its way then this plane is intercepted its way. Another result, an accident would happen. Question number two, which directions are the planes moving in? The direction we have north, south, or west, south. Okay, what else? East. Okay. This plane, for example, the blue one, is moving from the north east up to the west south while the red one is heading into north the third question who here i'm asking about a person who will talk to the pilots who will talk to the pilots the pilots mean the one responsible on operating and moving these airplanes. So we have pilots here, okay? And also we have pilots here. Their purpose is to steer and direct the airplanes based on the instructions they receive, okay? Who will talk to the pilots? So as we can understand, Uh, pilots cannot see everything in the plane. Okay, it's not, not like cars. Uh, there are ways or there are, they need to be um, uh, observed by someone who knows and ha have the experience of the knowledge about how many planes are in their ways. Okay. 
will understand and uh, talk about uh, the one who is responsible on giving the uh, uh, instruction to the pilots to prevent accidents as we are expecting to happen right here. Okay, the first question, the answer, planes are going to crash into each other. Crash. Crash. For number two, the plane on the left is moving north. Okay? And the plane on the right is moving southwest. Southwest. For question three, the one who is responsible to, and giving instructions to the pilots are called the air traffic controller. The air traffic controller will talk to the pilot. So if there is an accident here, whose fault is this? Is it because of the pilots or because of the air traffic controller? It is because of the air traffic controller most of the time. Because as we said before, the pilots need GPS. Okay, someone that would guide them to the correct uh, path and say, okay, they need a correct path that will help them reach their destination and a safe one, okay? The one who has all the data and information are in the air traffic control. So they understand and know what or how many plants or airplanes are in the air. Okay, for number two, we have a listening. You need to listen for a short dialogue between a pilot, a mom, talking to the air traffic controller. Okay, we need to put uh, in the blanks what you hear. Maybe you need to write number. Sometimes you need to write a word. Okay. Sure. Okay, try to listen. Unit 10, recording 55. Conair 286. Unknown traffic, two o'clock. 150 meters, crossing right to left. Conair 286, negative contact. Request vectors. Turn right, heading 045. Descend 85 meters. Right turn, heading 045. Descending 85 meters. Conair 286. Conair 286, all clear. Resume own navigation. Roger. Conair 286. As we saw, um, here we had a conversation between a pilot, basically a plane, presented by a pilot, who's a, a, one who is talking. Um, here is the pilot. Okay, and a conversation uh, between uh, the air traffic controller. Okay, as we can see, the pilot is following the instructions and the coordination of the air traffic controller. If, if he's uh, telling him to turn left, then the pilot needs to follow this order. Otherwise, an accident would happen. You can see also in the conversation, in the rest of the conversation, there is an order and the pilot is receiving uh, this order by saying, Roger, it means okay. I will do that. This is Roger. Okay. Heading means going to. Going to. Descent. This is an airplane. Okay. Means going to the ground. Okay. The opposite of takeoff. Okay. Okay. Let's see the answer right now. Unit 10. Recording 55. Conair 286. Unknown traffic, two o'clock. 150 meters, crossing right to left. Conair 286, next. Unit 10, recording 55. Okay. Going right, heading 
or for five, 85 meters, like nap turn, heading, or for six, descending, 85 meters. Okay, so this is the words we hear in this lessoning. Okay, for three, we need to read this newspaper article. Article, this is an article that is uh, extracted from a newspaper. So this is a typical article that we might see in the newspaper for, uh, for nowadays. They are uh, existed in, as web pages. And complete the incident report. Incident means an accident as we already uh, uh, talked about it. Incident, for example, like came to the class and I found out uh, there is um, a person who is sleeping, okay, because of uh, an issue he had. Okay, so this is an incident, it's called an incident. If there is someone who has fallen down, so this is an incident, I need to report. Report to tell someone who is authorized to help me. For example, if you got an accident in the road, okay, you need to report, you need to talk to the police or the traffic police or to the insurance company. This is what reporting. So incident had it, had that report, it means balak. And also we have another meaning for report. Uh, it, you can see in the newspapers or uh, the representative or the presenter, okay? Uh, the presenter, if he wants to cover, cover something, um, uh, talk about an accident, the action he do is reporting. They call it reporter, okay? So we have another, several meanings for report. Okay, the first um, task is to read the article. And then, as we said before, we need to complete incident report. Where the incident report, this is a typical example of an incident report. As you can see, we need to write the date of the incident, the time, the location, where did that happen, the distance between the two planes. Place one, okay, it's type, attitude, the height. Attitude means the height, the back. Flight number, okay, number of passengers, passengers of a cup, flying from to. From where did this uh, uh, take off and to where it would uh, land? Okay. Uh, also, we need to write exactly the same information we uh, wrote in plan one to write again in plan two. Okay. Okay, let's read first. Last night, a military jet plane almost. I mean, what do you mean by almost? Almost. As we can see, did not get crossed, but almost, okay, almost, crashed into a large passenger plane over northern England. Incident happened. Where did, where did it happen? In dense clouds, 10 kilometers west of Manchester. Okay, clouds. Okay, clouds means, as you can see here, this is a cloud. Right, the Boeing 757 passenger plane, okay, was 3,505 meters above sea level. So we have sea, this is the sea, for example. Okay, the distance is more than 3,000 and a half above the sea level. The F-15 military plane passed, okay, passed, as you can see, passed. At an attitude, a height, height, in fact, of 3,527 meters. At its closest point, the total distance, the total distance between the two <coughs> aircraft was only 36 meters. The Boeing flight number BA4058 had 334 passengers. 
Okay, so we have two airplanes. <clears throat> this is the first plan, uh, airplane, the point 757, and the uh, other one is the F-16 military plane, or plane. Okay, and was on a flight path from Manchester to Greece, from Manchester to Greece. The military plan, a plane was on its way from Scotland to the south of England. The pilot and passengers on the plan did not see the incident because of the cloud. Okay, so they were unable to see the planes because of what? Because of the cloud. But the emergency anti collusion system, PAC. Anti collusion, collusion, the crush means the crush. Anti means against, against crushing, means prevent crushing system. So the system is uh, responsible in uh, to prevent an accident for planes to happen. And BA for thousand five hundred six switch it on automatically. Uh, that T A S C system steered. What do you mean by steered? Moved. Okay, move to the right, to the left. The passenger plane safe, safely away from the military plane. So what did happen here? Okay. This system, okay, took control of the passenger plane. Okay, what do you mean by took control? So the pilot is unable to move or steer the airplane. So the one who is responsible on Moving the airplane is this system. Okay, it's like automatic flying. Okay, and because of that, uh, thanks God, we didn't have uh, an accident here. In conclusion, how many casualties or injuries? There are no casualties. What do you mean by casualty? Death. There are no death in this accident, but unfortunately, we had some injuries as a result of that. There were are how many? There were there were no injuries in the incident. So here we need to fill uh, in the information or the incident report. Okay. First one is the date of the incident. We need to look for the date. This is the date, 25 of November. You see? Yeah, 25. Of November. Okay, time. When did this happen? At night, maybe. This is the time here. At 22 uh, 17. Where the location? Northern England to a 10 kilometer west of Manchester. The distance between two planes, Masafa, distance. As you can see, 36 meters. 36 meters. Okay, we need the information of the first airplane. This is its name, the Boeing 757, passenger plane. The attitude, the height, we need the height. This is the height, 3,505 meters above the sea level. Look, the flight number, the Boeing flight number, this is the flight number. The number of passengers, how many passengers uh, does this plane have? How many? Had 234 uh, passengers. Okay, flying from to On a path, flight path means uh, direction from Manchester to Greece. Okay, we need to uh, information about the military jet plane. Okay, its type is 15 F-16 military plane. Attitude, the height of this plane was 3,527. Okay. Okay, flight number. 
we don't have any flight number because this is a military plane, not commercial. Okay, number of passengers flying from to here we need the location where this plane uh, uh, has uh, taken off and where it is expected to land. From Scotland to the south of England. Okay, so, uh, these are the incidents reports of the two planes. Okay, for four, we need to uh, complete these sentences and, uh, by adding um, uh, a verb or an auxiliary verb. And the tense that is used here is the, in the past. So we need to change these sentences to a complete ones using the past form of Mali. Okay, the first one, where the incident happens, this is the verb. verb. That's why I need to complete here. What is the past form of do and does? The past form. Did. So the first one, where did the incident happen? I use did, not was it where, because happened is a verb. Have a verb. You need an exotic verb that is dead or held by verb. Number two, take. This is a, a verb. Okay, also we need to put after when and before the subject, dead. When did it happen? When did it happen? This one took place with 25. Uh, Okay, but you are not asked to write uh, the answers, you need just to complete the questions here. Okay, for how I eat means you need to put either once or never. How high? This is a single, we are talking about single. How high was? That is because we are talking about the past. The past, the past form of it is was. How high was Boeing? Most of you why because the point is similar. There's no issue. Okay, for four. What was the height of the X? Okay, also, I use here was because I'm not using any verb here. There is no verb. Height, this is the height, the distance from this point to this point, or higher. Of preposition, F16 is the name. So there is no verb here. You use one well instead of is because you are asking about something that happened in the past. Five. What time F16 pass? Point. Pass. Okay, pass is the verb. A verb. So I need here to put dead. What time did the F-16 pass point? Okay, for six, how far jet from passenger plane? There is no S. Okay, there is no, um, uh, there is no verb and there is no S. We want to change the sentence into bus and the bus, instead of S, you would use what? How far was the jet from the passenger? Seven. What was flight number? What was the flight number of the passenger plane? Don't forget to put the article that because we are talking about a specific information or specific uh, something. Okay. Finally, how many passenger passengers? Okay. We need to change B into either was or was. Endpoint. 
So, and this is a preposition point, it, it, it's name, so there is no verb, so we don't need to use did here. Okay? If I don't want to use did here, I need to put either was or where. Bear in mind that we will use where if there is no s, or if there is an s here. But if there is no s, you need to put what was. How many passengers? Where? Okay. Ah, excellent. We forget that there is s here. How many passengers? Excellent. We have s here, then we directly needed to put where. This is the best form of what? The best form of r. R in the present, where in the past and mali. Okay. So don't forget the s in the sentence. This uh, this is a key uh, that would determine whether we are willing to use where or where. Okay. So basically, conclusion for this exercise: if there is a verb, we need an auxiliary verb. The auxiliary verb in the past is did, just like do and does in the present. But if the sentence does not contain any verb, we are talking about, for example, a noun and a proper noun, that's ma, or a preposition. There is no verb here. You need to put either was or where. We are talking about something singular. There is no s here. We need to put was. If there is an s in the sentence, we need to put where. Okay, this is the grammatical rule of this lesson, the past um, uh, symbol, where, yeah, because I'm asking the uh, location, where, 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 the planes. Okay, you see here where, because I'm asking the location of the planes that was on the where in the past. Okay, in the present, I could say, where are the planes? Okay, look at that. Example here, one answer. They were 3,500 meters above in England. They were. Okay, it means they are currently, they aren't here in this location. Okay, they are, uh, they did land. Here, when did the incident happen? Look, look to the difference between the two questions. The first one, we don't have an S here, but the, the last one, Okay, uh, that happened to a verb, but the last one we had a verb. So as a result of that, we needed did. Just exactly like the uh, present symbol. Okay, here you would use the present symbol R because I'm asking about a plural subject or, or I'm asking about the plural in general. And here would use does because I'm asking about the answer that is a single ad, I also use the verb that is happen, hassle. Okay? Sar and the quail, stuff them did, man the quail, stuff them where or what? Also, this is an example of a report. Okay, to talk about an accident or an injured person. Okay, yes, you need to spell down or uh, write down the key information, the main information of the incidents. Okay, to write the date, the time, the location, or the height. Okay, if there is someone who is injured, okay, injured, injured his hand, for instance, you need to write uh, down its name, job title, and the time of its injury. Is it in the head? And if it was in the head, what kind of his injury? Okay, whether it's at the cut or did he broke his skull, for instance. Okay. Okay, for uh, exercise six, we need to complete that dialogue with the words in the box. So we have several words. We need to use them in order to fill in the blanks. Okay, let's see the first one. We go out for a drink soon. 
Before uh, attempting to answer, you need to look for its answer. This is what dialogue, a conversation between two people. Okay, let's determine which one to use. Look to the response of the other speaker. Okay, we go out for a drink soon. He said, yes. What would you expect to use here? Is it are, can't, don't, I'd, I'll, must? Okay, we'll take one by one and see why we uh, should use one instead of the other. Let's see are. We are, go. This is incorrect. Why? Because I cannot use R with a verb in its base form. Okay, I need a helping verb. Okay. We have can't and don't. Okay, both of them are helping verb, but unfortunately, both of them have the same meaning. This is for the first um, criteria. For number two, the answer does not require a negative. Okay, he said yes. He didn't say no. Okay, so we don't need to use can to don't. This one, I'd, this is incorrect. Why? Because, as you can see, you need to use I here. But we need or we have we. This is a subject. You cannot put two subjects, okay, in the same sentence. We, I, incorrect. This is the same, exactly. I will. Something talking about the future, about himself, but as we said before, we use the subject we. We cannot have both subjects in the same sentence. So the last one is we should use here is must. We must, we need. Okay, it means we need to. We must, we should. Okay. As we said before, must. And I tell you, I tell you to, for example, you must bring the book. So this is not optional. This is not optional. You need to bring the book, otherwise you will not be allowed to enter. Okay. Number two. Yes, like to do so or to do that. Okay. Also, I can't use here are because we have a verb here. Okay. Can't, don't. We need a subject, so the answer will be one of these. Okay. I. Okay. S abbreviation is I would. I would. I would like to do that. Okay. I would like to do that. Okay. How about tomorrow? Okay, you free tomorrow? Okay, so we here have a question and we don't have a verb here. There is no verb. So directly would write uh, R. Why? Because I'm asking about something or sentence that does not have a verb. As a result of that, I used R. I'm sorry. Directly, once you see sorry, so this sentence has a negative meaning. So one of these should be applied. Okay. I use here can't if don't because he is unable. There is uh, an ability to do it. There is an ability. What about Saturday? Yes, Saturday. The Saturday is fine. What time? I know yet. Yet. Lisa. So this is a negative meaning. I don't know yet. Phone you tomorrow morning. Okay. Here uh, he's talking about something uh, he would do in the future. Which tense, which verb you must do here? Will. No? I will. I'll. I will phone you tomorrow morning. Okay, good. Talk to you then. Okay. So as we talked uh, about it here, need to bear uh, uh, attention to the right 
firm and the right external firm in these sentences. I cannot use are with verbs like go, like, okay, or phone without modifying the verbs. If you want to use are, you need to put ing here, okay? And also are requires subject. For example, we are going. We are going, not we are going. This is incorrect. Okay, this is the same uh, conversation here. There is no need to repeat what did we write. Okay, let's see an example exercise. Bye. Okay, and uh, this will close the lesson and uh, this unit. Uh, for today, is, uh, by the end of this uh, lesson, we finish unit 10. Started the unit by talking about the rules of the mornings, and then we followed that by explaining safety hazards uh, that, that we can see in uh, our workplace. And finally, we ended up if there is something happened, if we, there is no rules that were obtained, if you didn't, um, uh, uh, if you weren't uh, cautious about the safety hazards, and if there was some accidents, we need to investigate. Investigate is to look for the reason as someone or the person who is responsible on doing action, this verb, or the incident. Okay, we just talked about the airplanes, explained uh, their directions and who is responsible uh, to talk to the pilots and why to them that the, the uh, correct directions. We go through an example of a conversation between a pilot and uh, a person who works in air traffic control. And we show that the pilot needs to follow the commands and the information precisely. Okay. Unit 10. Here we complete um, uh, an incident report uh, and we obtain the information from an article that was extracted from a newspaper and we understand that in any report you need to write uh, some key information represented by explaining its state, time and providing the location as well as distance. Also providing um, specific information about the two airplanes or the two uh, uh, things that were responsible in this action or this uh, incident. Finally, we talked about the use of the past tense in order to explain or talk about incidents. As we all know that all incidents happens in the past. The result of that, in order to write a sentence in the past, you need to uh, pay, pay attention to the sentence, whether it has a verb or not. The sentence doesn't have a verb. We need to put either where or was, where if the sentence has an S at the end, or a subject that has an S, was if the subject doesn't have an S. If the sentence or the question has a verb, as we can see here, happen, yes, we need an auxiliary verb. Here, the herb and verb in the past is dead. In other words, the past form of do uh, does is dead, and the past form of is, are, am, is, was, and where. Okay, finally, we 
go through the differences between are, can, don't, and basically the verb are and the auxiliary verbs can, don't. We understand that in order to use are, we must not uh, find the verb in its base form. Okay? And most uh, verbs in these sentences require uh, the use of an auxiliary verb like must, can't, don't, which provide explanation and support to the verb. Okay, thank you for li your listening. I will continue uh, uh, our lesson, inshallah, in the next lecture. Next lecture, we'll start unit 11 for the revision, I think. Yeah, we'll start the revision and then we'll go to your unit 11. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me via Telegram or any possible uh, contact information or method. Okay, see you later. And thank you for listening. <laughs>